My name's Tom Slingsby and I was driving one of the F50s in the movie Tenant. I've never been part of anything like that before so it was, it was amazing, it was a really eye-opening experience. It was cool watching all the actors do their thing and do the stunts on the boats. The stuntmen and stuntwomen would come up and ask, look, is this possible? Can we throw someone off this part of the boat going really fast or can we do it over here? And, and we basically just had to tell them, look, no, that's way too dangerous. If one of these hydrofoils hits you when we're doing 30, 40 knots, uh, you won't be here to tell the tale of it. it. It was pretty exciting being a part of all that and listening to a few of their ideas and the scenes they wanted to, to get done and, and us really just trying to do the best for them. Can the boat do this type of maneuver? And we would say, look, we haven't done it before, but yeah, we probably could if we practiced it and we'll go out and practice that maneuver and, and they would use it for their shot. We did some scenes where we knew that they will come out really well and whether it was the helicopter uh, coming in, it was about 18, 19 knots and the boats were ripping around doing 40, 45 knots and, and we were getting to within a metre of each other. Um, the boats super close together and, and the helicopter would do laps around us and come in low and fly up in front of us and uh, some really cool footage I think uh, was done. And, yeah, and getting the feedback from the um, the director saying that that's an amazing scene and that's 100% going in the in the movie. It's uh, it's pretty cool. There was always a bit of a fight going on for who got to be on board when we were shooting some of these scenes, or who got to be on our boat as we were uh, the backup boat and weren't really on film as tight. We were sort of an overall helicopter view and uh, so people wanted a ride of the boat. We were told, okay, we want one boat to sail as close to the other boat as you can and, and go as fast as you can, but being equal. And, and there were times there I just wanted to go faster than Rome and go and assert our dominance, I guess. Um, but it wasn't really what they wanted in the scene. They wanted the boats to be exactly the same speed. And uh, yeah, I had to tone down my competitive a little bit and I had to do a couple of takes. There were times where I just sort of put the pedal to the metal and tried to be faster than Rome. Uh, we did have a full F50 crew on board. Um, it was a bit of a mix match and, and different people from different teams on our boat. So I got to sail with um, a few of the Team Japan guys. It's weird, I'm so used to racing against them and, and you sort of wonder how they communicate on board their boat when they're racing you and, and then actually sitting next to them and listening to the way they talk. It's uh, it's quite different. Usually we sail with a wing and a jib on the boats and uh, that's the way we usually sail in normal configuration but uh, Christopher Nolan didn't like the jibs in the, in the, the, as the look of the boats. He thought they looked more cool and more badass with the boats with just the wing in the air. Um, and so he asked for us to sail the boats without. It takes a bit of time learning to sail. The boat and the foils load up very differently when you take the jib off the boat. But we, uh, whatever he wanted, we sort of did our best to make it happen. And sure enough, um, they, it looked really cool. I saw one little clip um, just on someone's computer after one day of filming and it looked amazing with their millions of dollars of cameras and stuff like that. It was uh, pretty amazing how clear and, and cool the footage was. I gotta say it was an enjoyable experience. I didn't have to do any acting. I just got to do what I do best, which is race sailing and sail sailing boats. And uh, oh, I love the process, but uh, I'm not gonna be an actor anytime soon.